Hello? Is someone present? Oh, we got company. All right, well, <laughs> that was interesting. I was not expecting to start the video with a gunfight, but uh, there we go. We are in Fort Hagen. We are continuing our search for Kellogg. I'm assuming he's here somewhere. Ah, Synth Helmet. Ah, damn it. Inventory. What am I using for a helmet right now? Shadowed Metal Helmet. Alright. 12 and 6. Where's the Synth Helmet? 9 and 11. Hmm. Wait 3. Wait 4. Um, that one gives better energy resistance, which might actually be a good thing right now. So let's do that. We'll drop the metal one. Is there other crap in here I can get rid of? Synth chest piece. Why am I not using that? Uh, combat armor was better, wasn't it? Alright. Uh, I'll, I'll hang on to it for now. I don't know why I'm carrying some guy's suit. <laughs> metal left arm, metal left leg can go. Uh, reduced damage from animals is not something I really care about. I could probably sell that for, well, for 99 apparently, so let's get rid of that. And a trench coat that I will never wear. Why not? And a worn fedora. Okay. Oh, did I lose my welding goggles when I put the helmet on? I'll take the, the welding goggles. Okay. Now, there might have been a little more back here, I don't remember. Let's take a quick look. Um, don't see anything. Okay, I may be missing something obvious, but hey, we found the bobblehead last time, so I'm happy. Take those, keep the glass pitcher. Should we check that one? Sure, why not? We're starting to get <laughs> starting to get a little weighted down, so we're gonna have to get a little picky about what we take with us. But anyway, what's in here? Um, Nuka Cola. <laughs> Fort Hagen Armory Password. Oh, <laughs> I just might take that. Okay, that was worth grabbing. Glad I checked down there. Let's see. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly You don't see me, do you? An enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Maybe utilizing stealth? <laughs> Where's your friend gone? I think he ran for it. There we go. I like how the one guy just abandons the other one when the shooting starts. It's nice. Synth helmet. Yeah, yeah. We know. Alright. You got fusion cells. I'm going to have a fair number of those by the time I get out of here, apparently. Let's uh, quick save. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. <laughs> a lot of people can say that. I don't think he's afraid of me. <laughs> but I think he's in for a uh, nasty surprise. Apparently something's over there. Alarm clock. <laughs> Don't know why I'm taking that, I just am. Ooh, first aid. Now I gotta unlock this, do I? Alright. There we go. Stim packs. Nice. Yeah, stim packs, what do you know? Do I need the water? Sure, let's take the water. I can use that for the uh, vegetable starch when we get back to the town. I don't care. Oh, there's a turret, is there? That's what it sounded like. There. Nice try. And... An empty room. Let's turn the light on so I can see something. Ah. More stim packs. <laughs> and bobby pins. Take those two. 
I am uh, getting a nice uh, supply of uh, stim packs going here. I like that. Okay, there's an objective through there, so I'm going to quick save. <laughs> Just in case bad things happen. I, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, desk fan. Ammo box. Oh, well, I'll stop to pick that. And come on. Something good? Got it. Fusion cells. Uh. Okay, so if this is the way ahead, what was that locked door back there? I want to know this. I don't want to bypass something useful. We got some kind of supply room from the look of things. Oh. No, wrong button. That button. Apparently this is what the password was for. Door control. Yeah, open it up. Thank you. Anytime. There we go. <laughs> I don't like that delay that's in there. It annoys me. Stimpax. Uh, Radex. Sure. Bobby pins. I don't really need more of them. Sure, I will unlock the toolbox. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to say it's like free XP, but I guess it cost me a bobby pin. There we go. Yes. Gold watch. Not really much I need, but okay. Oh. Security gate to unlock. More XP. And there we go. That's it. And ooh. ooh. <laughs> Look at all this. Oh, and a fat man, too. There is a fight coming up if they're giving me a fat man. Take that. Take that. Take this. I will take the fat man, and yeah, I know I'm going to be weighted down. Ammo, more ammo, and more ammo. Okay, I need to uh, lose a bit of weight because I am taking the fat man just in case the fighting goes bad. Ooh, that's heavy. What do I got in the way of weapons? Uh, fat man. <laughs> Fragmines Institute Pistol. I picked that up off somebody, didn't I? Let's drop that. Uh, I will not be using an irradiated revolutionary sword. Um... But I'm not sure I really want to just toss it. Because <laughs> it is kind of a neat idea. But uh, uh, it doesn't weigh enough to be worried about. Targeted, boosted, agitated, improved. <laughs> something or other. Um, must have looted that from somebody. I'm going to toss that. I've got the stuff I want. Suppressed, powerful submachine gun. I'm tempted to drop that, but it's suppressed, so I'm going to hang on to it. I like my suppressed weapons. So that brings that we need to drop eight more, do we? Peril, anything? Silver Shroud, we need that for something. Synth chest piece, should I get rid of that? And the helmet, sure, let's get rid of the helmet. And actually, I may need the helmet in a minute. <laughs> I may be about to go into a nasty battle. Um, synth right arm. I have another bright arm, right, the lucky one. Okay, so we can drop the right arm. And one more thing. Damn. What have I got in uh, Nuka Cola, which I never drink? Tatoes. I don't need to be carrying Tatoes right now. What else we got? Um, okay, that puts us below weight. Let's drop a couple more things if we can. Uh, corn. <laughs> I do not need that much corn. All right, that's good. All right. Quick save that so I don't have to do it again. All right, let's go see what this fight is going to be about. Because given the option, I'm going to kill him. You don't steal someone's kid and expect not to be killed. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Okay. Talk, you say. I find this uh, suspicious, but let's go. Okay. There he is. Okay, I didn't draw my gun on purpose. <laughs> the game did it for me. It's interesting. I thought I had that honor. Let's uh, talk. Hmm. All right. Where, Where is, is my son? 
Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only... He's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, just tell me where tell he is. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. <sighs> All right, how do I get there? So where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm ready. You know I am, Kellogg. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I saw him pull something out. I'm not sure I want to know what that is. Okay, let's, uh... I could Fat Man him right now, which is probably not the worst idea. Frag mines. We can set up a defense line in case he comes charging at us. Alright, do this. Ah! Where's he? Okay. Oh crap. He's smarter than that, apparently. Okay, some heals. I got one more round in this fat man, do I? Let's see where he is. Ah, there he is! That's for you. <laughs> okay, that's, that's my fat man ammo. And I think it's well spent. Okay, let's get our frag grenades. Um, what do I want to attack this guy with? Uh, should we use the shotgun? Let's use a shotgun. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Grenade corpse then, I guess. No. Oh, what about your... <laughs> I guess two fat mans are enough to kill anybody. Your buddies, are they still alive? Yeah, something moved. I saw you. Alright. Problem taken care of. Ooh, took his head clean off. That probably hurt. Terminal password. Cybernetic brain augmenter. Okay. All this tech. You were barely human. You looked fine to me, but anyway. Okay, Kellogg's pistol. That's not bad. I'll take it. Maybe I can mod that up even better. Frag grenade, stim pack, a couple of stealth boys. And what are these for? I'll take his outfit. <laughs> I don't know what his limb actuators or pain inhibitors are for, but I'll take them. Oh, really? You're going to do that to me? I guess I'll have to drop a desk fan or something. What are we at? We're one point over. So let's drop a wrench. There we go. That'll do it, right? Yeah. Okay, quick saving. <laughs> I've been told that's a that's a mean fight, but uh, I guess when you got a couple of fat mans to throw at people, it uh, easy makes things a little bit easier. <laughs> Just a tad. Step back. What's in the chest? Strengthened polished metal left arm. No. I'll take the circuit board. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Damn it! Okay, drop a couple more wrenches. There you go. Um. Step back. Thank you. Kellogg's Terminal. Alright, I guess we should check that out. Kind of interesting looking. Uh, view access logs. Uh, the boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down Renegade. Gathered reinforcements. Cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out tomorrow. Well, I saved you the trouble. Security door. Open. Alright. 
Can I? There we go. Get the gun out just in case. Stim pack again. And another stim pack. How many of these have I got now? <laughs> um, 74 of them. Okay. I guess I can spare one then. Uh, anything else of interest in here? Doesn't look like it. How about this? Duct tape, that'll take. Fuse, sure. Alright, I don't want to pick up too much. I don't want to be sorting through my inventory endlessly. So we're going back. We're not going back this way. Why not? I opened the doors. Oh, exit. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I appreciate having a quicker way out than having to backtrack the entire way. Anything? Bobby pins, duct tape. Really? The duct tape put me over. Ah, all right. Pee that way. Um, you can have one of my loot. Oh, you can have them all. Oh, half. There we go. I'm gonna have to make a quick trip back to Sanctuary and dump some of this stuff off, I think. Going up. And then... I don't know, I assume we're heading back to talk to Valentine again. I, d I wasn't watching when the, uh, the text went by. Probably should have been paying attention. But I wasn't. <laughs> Just happy to be alive at that point. Every once in a while you get an elevator you can open the hatch on, but there never seems to be any purpose to it. It's a little strange. You would assume at some point, somewhere in the game, there's a reason to be able to open that hatch. Uh-huh. Alright, terminal. Turret control, really. Are there any turrets left? Units connected five. Yeah, I'll just say uh, deactivate those. Wait a minute. Didn't I wipe all those out on my way in? Why are you telling me there's five? Maybe it hasn't noticed I destroyed them all. Uh, door control locked. Yeah, we <laughs> we noticed that part. We're, we want it open. There we go. Oops, no, don't do that. All right, back out of Fort Hagen. Let's hit Sanctuary. To the map. Fast travel not available. Why? Because I'm on the roof. Oh. What? Oh. Really. Wow. I like we that. The Brotherhood of Steel. Can I get me one of those? <laughs> that, uh, that is pretty cool. I probably should have gone back and done some more of those Brotherhood missions at some point. I guess I'll end up doing that eventually. Okay. That is pretty cool. And that would be why I wasn't allowed to fast travel. I wanted to make sure I saw that go by. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's find a way off this roof. Yeah, that'll do. They are heading straight for the city. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Did you just suddenly pick up speed? Uh, anyway. Now that I've been impressed by the uh, airship there, can I fast travel? <laughs> Alright. We have unloaded our, uh, our loot. <laughs> Tossed a few more things into storage there, so we should be a little better off now. Um... Hmm. I guess we're going to have to head back to town. Let's see what our objectives are. Uh, discuss your findings with Nick. Yeah, I kind of figured. Alright, so I guess we're heading back down to Diamond City. Okay. I don't notice any big uh, airships covering over town. I assume it's around somewhere. It's not like you can just hide one of those things behind a skyscraper or something. 
Anyway, we'll find it. So I suppose it could be near the police station where the other guys were, but uh, that would be a little too simple and straightforward, I'm thinking. Get somebody a Nuka Cola? I don't think so. Go fetch your own. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Oh, not her. Really? He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. Damn, You're back. she saw me. And not with your son. What happened? <sighs> let's see. Yeah, let's go with you were right. You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. Is there a reason no why we couldn't kick her out before Security the conversation started? Strip those memories out. Um. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> The Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. <sighs> Kellogg? You had to have a way in and out. But am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? <laughs> oh, yeah, he is dead. He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Hmm. I'd do it again. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Okay, sounds interesting. Uh, let's say that's a good idea. Why? I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're going to need a piece of Kellogg's brain. <laughs> Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Um, well, I do have that th cybernetic piece I picked up. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all we? go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Um, I think I'll meet him there. I'll head there on my own. All right, see you at the den. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Ooh, level up. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. <laughs> I don't owe you anything. She will never be a companion. I will avoid her like the plague. What is that? Oh, nice. Joy. <laughs> the video game. Keep me fed. Now let's see. Now that she's gone, I... <laughs> we have a level. Let's see, what do we got to choose from here? Um, leveling rifles. We could improve our sneaking a bit. 
Uh, Lockpicking seems to be okay for now. Science. <laughs> That's not the worst idea to take right now, to be honest. Um, uh, circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics. I don't think I need those, especially at the moment. I could uh, increase one of my stats and work my way down to some of this stuff. Um, I'd have to take a look at that at some point and figure out if there's anything down here that's actually useful. Um, not worried about the computers just yet. Silence weapons doing extra damage is kind of nice. Killing a sleeping person, that was... I don't think that really ever comes in all that useful in this game. <laughs> I'm not sure you ever really find a good use for that. Um, so I think it's going to come down to rifles or uh, sneaking. Um, let's go with the sneaking, shall we? Sneaking will always come in handy in this game. Alright, so, let's get outside. Alright, well, wasn't here, you didn't see me. Shut up. So, we have to go to... Good neighbor. Right there. Okay. That's a bit of a walk from the look of things, but uh, that's alright because we're kind of out of time anyway. So I guess we'll pick up from there next time and continue on with a bit more of the plot. So uh hope you enjoyed watching Kellogg get blown to bits. I will see you again next time.